Hello YouTube, this is Puck. In this video, I'm gonna show you Windows 10 build 10130. This install, what you see, is a straight up install from 10130. Um, Cause the 10130 is now being delivered on the Microsoft website. So this was not a 9926 to 10,074 and then to 10,130. So this was straight 130 install and I even got some updates and we did some updates. As you can see I changed the system a little bit as you could see in my previous video when installing this on the Acer e-machine. The video called uh, the clean upgrade from JustMid to Windows 10 build 10130. Uh, strange name, of course, but uh, yeah, that is how it was. So, yeah, just saying how it is. So, here you can see uh, Windows 10, and in this video, I'm going to show you something uh, that I discovered that, in fact, is really cool for uh, desktop users because they get rid of all the apps and whole screen with one with one little click and they can get it back with one little click so what you're seeing here is a, yeah a classic start menu this is Windows 10 build let me show it to you let's go to the let's go to the specifications properties here you can see it, uh, Windows 10 is activated, 2 gigabytes Windows 10 Pro inside the preview and the build is, of course we can find that here, I think, by typing winfer, there. And here you can see it, build 10130, blah de blah de blah, evaluation expires on this date okay you saw that all right but you will be like hey where's the big start menu well I think the big start menu should be there for tablet users and desktop users you know I think especially old school desktop desktop users they don't want to see anything that has to do with the start screen man for real so um, to get the start screen back however it's really easy we go here and select tablet mode so now we have our beautiful metro back and of course the well respected uh, start screen the new innovated start screen of Microsoft and uh, yeah it's really cool and if we hit here we will get our classic start menu back you see that but by hitting the little arrow we will come straight into metro so in fact uh, we give uh, the priority of the start uh, button back to the classic start menu and by you know really wanting to see metro you have to click this and then you get into the metro screen and if you go there then you can go even more and deeper in the start menu but you can also access it everything from here just you know the way you were used to do that for many years and totally got confused with all the new things and we understand that you know so all old schoolers can be really happy and desktop users only thing you have to do is um, hit tablet mode and then this should be oops tablet mode tablet mode and this should be gone there you go see that boom boom and we are in desktop again uh, we're recording with Camtasia a newer version and uh, this is the editor it's opened and the recorder here it's recording as you can see and now we are just back into the 
old classic screen with no metro no metro that can be opened from here and how to get this well um yeah well I, i'm not gonna say it because i think uh if you really uh like this what you see then i might tell you if the official version comes out because um for now i i just want to uh let microsoft do their work i don't want people to go and change things all around just like i do you know i just do it for testing so i'm gonna put it back on the tablet mode with uh, the metro screen and everything that we want to see here even the start menu as you can see everything is back i didn't remove anything uh, we just uh, give the priority of the start menu back to the classic start menu for desktop users and laptop users of course only because tablet users won't uh, like to be in this environment because this is way too small to touch with fingers and uh, because you know it's never been changed or you know never been made touch friendly this here these parts of the old classic uh, start menu uh, you know um, Microsoft created this start menu and this one is touch friendly you see that so people can now choose and uh, I think that Microsoft did a great job with this what I'm seeing here uh, however um, to give the priority back to this start menu uh, you will have to wait for that because uh, I don't want to you know give it away immediately um, just because this is in very testing mode still so this is just uh, information that I'm showing you that is possible and will be possible uh, so um, yeah desktop users will uh, have a great uh, environment uh, coming back to them uh, thanks to this um, to this what uh, I did here and uh, yeah tell me what you think if you like this windows uh, 10 that you see uh, of course like this video if you want to know what i did uh, please wait just a little bit longer because uh, i cannot reveal this yet i just don't want to reveal it yet i just want to you know leave it uh, for now uh, the way it is so you know the testing can go on but for me um, because of uh, my way of working I will of course keep uh, this uh, look and feels because I think this is the goal uh, the fantastic thing that you know every old school Windows user was waiting for a normal uh, start menu popping up but with the power of the latest inventions built in and uh, yeah of course uh, all changeable and accessible via the settings and it looks fantastic this is not windows 7 this is windows 10 it's also not windows 8 or 8.1 this is windows 10 and uh yeah it's uh, innovating every day a little bit more and uh yeah what am i saying innovating um, it's uh, getting better every day a little bit more and more and more and uh, finally you know it's gonna be one fantastic system that everyone worldwide will use also thanks to the power of running android apps as you could see in windows 8.1 we could not run uh, windry but in windows 10 we can run windry just fine also bluestacks runs fantastic although bluestacks also run under windows 8 and 8.1 so only thing I have to see if um, my RC flight simulator uh, works again in Windows 10, the one, the Clearview, I think it was the one that uh, refused to function in uh, in uh, Windows 8, also not in Windows 8.1. So yeah, I have to check all these little things. But this is it, peeps. Tell me what you think, and uh, let me know if you like the system and if you would also love to have your system just like this so yeah until then uh, thanks for watching and of course like subscribe and till my next video again bye bye